Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Because I'm not your mama. Eh? Oh, I didn't work in Madre Wan, Yamma. You could make a bunch of you according to my people. It shall be well with all of us. Our going out, our coming in shall be blessed. Here are the headlines Simon Ekpanjoku, the BG Prime Minister, have issued a 72 hours ultimatum over Mazen Namdekano and other prisoners of conscience from the Biafra. Uh, uh, state or Biafra nation, you say make on a freedom under 72 hours. Otherwise, on a phone, get Biati. Alex OT pledges support for joint monitoring team to boost oil production. Uh, keep on enriching it, keep on enriching the the the, the north now. Nah? The boost oil production. Deadly students claim multiple lives in Anambra capital again, again, and again. Hmm. Alleged constitutional violation of activists threatening to drag Tuku Macha Suludo to court. Defense Minister Badaru ordered troops to arrest <laughs> arrest Belotuji. Arrest Belotuji or by Belotuji. I don't understand. You see these people? They will tell you, go to the southeast. If you get high pop, kill them. But you are telling Defense Minister, I mean, you are ordering them to arrest Belotuji. You don't even tell them to go and wipe out Belotuji and his boys. In other words, arrest him. Tomorrow you will integrate him into the army and send him to the southeast. My people make on a see him now. Not supporting their own criminals. I didn't say crim criminality is bad, though. I mean, I didn't say crim criminality is good. Sorry to say, please. Pardon my manners. I didn't say criminality is good, but look at not. This is exactly what happened during the time of uh, Good Lord Jonathan said, Era. When a uh, good lord appointed a year car chief of army staff, trying to wipe up uh, wipe out all these miscreants. They don't against good lord Jonathan that it now it is now between a fight. I mean it is now a fight between uh, uh, the the Christians and the Muslims. Can you imagine that? Then Sheikh Gumbi come out, open his mouth and tell all before the general public, nobody call him questioning. That nobody should be killing their their this in, the bandits and the Boko Harams in the bush, that they are their foot soldiers. In other words, then this one now, now defense minister don't come out now. Defense minister will give order to go and wipe out iPod that iPod by terrorist. Then Belo Tunjina is innocent. Hey, innocent or dinkema. Or I see him. Or I see him. We have people who is at the, at the National Assembly, Galafantin, telling you that they never supported Biafra, they never supported anything that do it. But they cannot tell you the simple truth what happened. That during the time of uh, Buhari, before Biafra said enough is enough, people who are on the street uh, protesting with the placards, you murder them, take their cops, and have their organs. People who carry placards, you arrested them. Most of them are still in jail, far away, not. Nobody, even their family members now, have forgotten them. No any Biafra, I mean, no any woman you ask all those who are stupid ones in government house that will come out and tell you all these things. The initially Biafra agitation was just a peaceful agitation, not until Biafra, I mean, not until Buhari ordered a python dance, mosquito dance, uh, elephant dance, and a dog dance in, 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 in Biafra territory and begin to kill our people. Ordering the Fulanese to invade our land and take over our lands by force. Before Nam the Kano get angry, got angry and created Eastern Security Network. Look at the first minister now, ordering troops to go and arrest Belo Tuji. Terrorist leader who have destroyed many lives, properties, and even caused mayhem to that government. They will not order for his wipeout, but they will order to go to our villages in the southeast. And begin to kill our eight mother, burn their houses and their shops at every slightest provocation. You where they watch me, where you come to my comment section and talk rubbish, chineke akpo wako. Where you come and tell me now I talk too much, ekwensi ya bugono. Analyzing all this in, letting the world know what we are passing through in the hands of all these animals. And you have the God to come and tell me I talk too much. Ekwensu gawu your senior brother. Ndara. I beg, let us go straight to the reason why we are here this morning. There's no time to for frivolities. I, in fact, I'm angry in my spirit. 
Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe. There's no no time to to check to, to, to time. The Simon Epa late Biafra government has issued a fresh ultimatum to the Nigerian government, demanding the freedom of Mazen Namdekano and other South Easterners being heard across the country. Daily Post records that Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has remained behind bars since he was repatriated from Kenya. Rather, since he was kidnapped from Kenya. A situation that has worsened tension in the Southeast. Just earlier in the week, the entire Southeast was under a total lockdown for two days owing to a sit at home order declared via viral video, which was disclaimed by the EPA and IPOP leadership. However, speaking in a statement through his ex handle, on Thursday, EPA called for the immediate release of all the people from the zoo or from the zone who have been held in virus facilities. He also asked judges of Southeast origin, seven in other parts of the country, to return home. According to him, the ultimate, which is uh, expected to last till October 27, 2024, was a decision after a meeting held on Thursday. He claimed that the Nigerian judicial system had contributed to the insecurity in the region by instilling anti people uh, governors. The Biafra agitator further threatened to lock down on all federal courts in the Southeast from October 29, 2024, if his demands were not met. The Biafra government in an emergency cabinet meeting today, uh, sorry, yesterday, which is the 24th of uh, October 2024, voted and approved a resolution to demand the Nigerian government to return every Biafran being detained outside Biafra land within 72 hours. The 72 hours will expire on Sunday, 27-10-2024. He threatened that if the demands were not met, his group will lock down federal institutions in the zone, including courts. Governor Alex Oti pledged support to on joint team to boost oil production to make sure that he keep on enriching the north. Alex Oti, your time <laughs> is ticking you. Hmm. Ida State Governor Dr. Alex Choma Oti, OFR, has assured the Ida State government's support to tackle the issues causing the drop in crude oil production in Nigeria. Governor Oti gave the assurance on Tuesday, uh, 22nd October, in his uh, Umehimu Mvose country home, when he received an audience, a delegation of the Defense Headquarters Joint Monitoring Team, led by Major General Jal Jimo, who paid him a walking visit. Governor Oti, who decried the drastic drop in crude oil production in Nigeria, which, according to him, formed part of his uh, decision in a recent visit to the National Security Advisor, said, that the numbers available to him between June, July, August put the average oil production level somewhere around 1.4 million barrels per day. He noted that it was far below Nigeria's crude oil quota of 2.2 million barrels per day. The governor recalled that 20 years ago, Nigeria's crude oil production capacity was about 2.5 million barrels per day. Around 20 years ago, I believe that was in 2005, our production capacity, not even the quota, was about 2.5 million barrels a day. So the difference between 2.5 million barrels and 1.4 million barrels also speaks to the challenges because if you are not uh, exporting or enough oil, you are not going to generate enough foreign currency to deal with all these issues that we have in the country, the governor said. Governor Oti explained that because Nigeria's economy is presently largely import-dependent, the crisis in the foreign exchange market today can be calmed by a simple improvement in the quantity of oil we produce and export. Noting that it is a demand and supply solution. If uh, supply is weak and demand is high, prices will keep on going up. He assured the team of the support of the state government to help them succeed in their assignment in his words. We have everything that it takes. All the problems are man-made problems. Be it the oil theft, be it uh, the crisis, insurrection in the Niger Delta, and I believe that with determination and a lot of efforts that you are making, we will turn this oil theft so that our country will improve in terms of foreign exchange receipts and reduce the insulation we have everywhere. So I am fully in support of what you are doing, and I will give you every support that is possible from government. And I will also encourage you to work with your colleagues. The state security heads, if there is anything you think you can, 
you think they can do they are all a phone call away they are your colleagues work with them so that uh, we can together make a success out of this assignment he assured earlier in this uh, his speech the leader of the monitoring team major general jal jimo said that uh, the joint monitoring team was recently constituted to carry out oversight on some of the most pressing challenges faced by the country's vital crude oil sector speaking on the mandate of the team he said our mandate is clear to ensure robust monitoring and oversight across uh, activities related to crude oil and gas extraction transportation and security within all the oil producing areas of the country speaking further he said that uh, their visit to governor oti was to acknowledge his invaluable support to the initiative to underscore their commitment towards transparency and cooperative engagement with all stakeholders involved and to assure the governor that no effort will be spared to restore optimal operational e efficiency within the oil sector other members of the team who joined Major General Jimo on the visit to Governor Alex Uti include Rear Admiral, Admiral D. Fadei, Rear Admiral S.D. Ibrahim, A. Vice Marshal Dari Brigadier, General A. A. Idris, Colonel M. M. Selong, Lieutenant Colonel M. J. Bent, Commissioner of Police in Yama Daniel, and Commandant Mohamed Wasaka. Make gonna see all the whole names I, I listed here. Who we'll go visit Alex Uti? No any single officer. That is in a high-ranking officer that joined them to visit Alex Oti. But Alex, Alex Oti is assuring them of giving them maximum support to boost oil production. Whereas the oil is coming from Alan, but they are using it to reach the north. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. Africans, I mean, uh, Ndibo, make on a good sense. Deadly shootings uh, multiple lives in Anambra uh, capital, which is Oka. A shooting spray in Oka, Anambra state capital on Thursday morning has claimed several lives source have hinted daily post one of the sources a student said the shooting happened in uh, ifitoka at uh, approximately 9 15 a.m leaving several people dead ifitoka is dominated mostly by students of namda Zikiwe university oka the source said the shooting may not be uh, may not be unconnected to courtism last sunday no fewer than 12 people were gone down in a court related shooting in nibo a town close to oka another source said Thursday shootings happened at Ifite, close to the back gate of Unizik, Oka, not far from uh, Amansi Road. One of the sources said, government just shot, <coughs> just shot a guy a few minutes ago at Ifite, Oka. He is lying lifeless. Another eyewitness, a lecturer said, she witnessed seven uh, lifeless bodies in the area and was forced to abandon lectures and turn back while enrolled to school. It is, however, not clear the actual member or number of victims involved in the shootings. But the state police public relations officer, Tochuku Ikenga, who failed to confirm the incident, rather said a police responding team uh, has taken over the scene and further details will be communicated shortly. In another press statement, Ikenga said the command has intercepted some videos and voice notes of persons who planted or who plan to unleash violence in Oka. He said Anambra State Police Command begins investigation on some intercepted videos and voice notes on social media space, threatening violence in the state. The police command not taking those clips for granted and saddled with the responsibility of maintaining law and order shall live up to its mandate of ensuring that no person or group of persons is allowed to infringe on the fundamental human rights of others. Given the above, Police and other security forces have intensified patrols and improved security dominance and surveillance to enforce the law, maintain public order, public safety, and other support service in the state. Alleged constitutional violence, or constitutional violence rather, three uh, activists threatened to drag Tukuma Charles Soludo to court. An activist, Dr. Ifani Chuku Okonko, has threatened to institute legal proceedings against the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Suludo, and the two other public officers, uh, officers yes, for attempting to alter the Land Use Act through a proposed land title revalidation and uh, recertification in the state. Okonko issued a threat in a pre-action uh, pre notice to Secretary 
with Anambra State Government, the Attorney General, and the Commissioner for Justice, Anambra State, and the Commissioner for Land, Survey, and Urban Planning, Anambra State. The pre-action notice was dated October 2nd, 22nd, 2024, entitled, In the Matter of Intervention, uh, Intention to Institute Legal Proceedings Against the Governor of Anambra State, Public Officer and Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Anambra State, and Anno. Foreign, uh, further more take notice renewal and reinsurance why the lease period covered by a certificate of occupancy is long usually 99 years it is critical to be aware of its expiration date and requirement for renewal to maintain legal ownership and avoid potential disputes the last but not the least defense minister badaru orders through to arrest belotuji <laughs> i clap for you the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaro, has ordered troops of Operation Fansa Yama to intensify efforts to arrest notorious bandits leader uh, Belo Tuji. Badaro gave the order on Thursday while addressing the troops at the 1 Brigade headquarters in Gusau, Zamfara State Capital. He said the Bolambe Tunumbu has been following the activities of the troops in the past few months and has seen some levels of improvement in the operation against terrorists in the region. The President has asked me to thank you and urge you to do more to end insecurity in these areas of operation and the country. He is ready to provide all you need to end insecurity in the North, uh, West and Nigeria. I have some reassurance from the commanding officer and was pleased. I am sure that we will reach the goal. Are you ready to finish with them? Are you ready to end it? Please, get me to G. Badaru said. The minister who visited Operation Fansa Yama in Gusau to take briefings on military operations was received by the Commander Joint Task Force Northwest Operation Fansa Yama, Major General Ola Uluyinka uh, Suyele, and the Deputy Governor of Zamfara State, Mami Mani uh, Mumuni, among other dignitaries. So, my good people, don't hear him. Uh, go and get him, Belo Tuji. Hmm? Very easy, as, in, as easy as that. If you hear Belo Tuji was arrested tomorrow, just know it that not Belo Tuji they arrested. If you hear that, they are, that Belo Tuji have been captured, just know it that they have offered him a lucrative deal that made them, that made him to surrender himself. Go and get me Belo Tuji. <laughs> All right, these people think that we are fools. They think that we don't have brain. They think that uh, that our our brains are empty. So they will just come to the social media and make any comment they like anytime they like it or however they like it, and we will just follow them like Mumu. No problem, no be their fault. And it is not their fault, it is our fault that always listen to the, the, the jargons and garbage that always uh, emanate from their mouth. Anyone, my people now here, go take back break. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. I'll be right back. Okay,